Hello everyone and welcome to our smash book challenge. This is a challenge that the girls and I decided to do together. They were looking for some inspiration on how to start their smash books and what to do in them. So what we're going to do is I'm going to do the example page and then they're going to do their interpretation in their own books and then they're going to post their own response videos to each challenge video. So each one of the girls have their own YouTube channel. They will do their page in response to the challenge and post their reply down here below. So what we're hoping is that you'll join us and that you'll decide to go out, get your smash book, and, or if you already have one and haven't started, go ahead and join us with these challenges that we're doing. Now where we got the ideas from are posted on my Pinterest account. My Pinterest account again is Colleen Two Tiny Treasures. And there's a lot of 30 day challenges that have been out there but I know me and the girls just don't have the time to do a page every single day. So we just started with seven basic ones and we'll just see how long it takes us to get through this list. If you have a suggestion of a challenge page, please post it below and maybe we'll do that page as well. So the first one we're doing, and this is what this video is about, is All About Me. This is challenge number one, All About Me. So the first thing I did was I have to pick a page in my book. So go to the page in your book that you want to do your All About Me page. So for myself, I chose, let's see here, I chose this one right here. Now, in this page, it has two colors, and you want to focus on the colors on your page. This one has red, and it has blue. So I went through my stash and found some embellishments that have red and blue. First of all, I found some tapes that match, and again, your page doesn't have to be red and blue. Just find a page and work with the colors that you see on your paper. So mine is, I have this photo here, and you can use as many or as little photos as you want. You don't have to use a photo at all. This photo is not the best picture of me, as you can tell. However, it is a photo that really describes me well and what I enjoy. So that is why I chose that photo. Each one of my daughters is also going to get one of these Polaroids from Kaiser Craft. It's already cut out and all they have to do is put it on their page. Then I found a metal embellishment that also has blue and red that matches my page and I adhered that there. So they are going to get to select from any of the other metal embellishments I have that may match their pages and they'll be able to go through our stash and see what matches their page. The next thing I did was I used the smash stamp to put dates on things and we used, let me find it, we're using the Dymo Labeler. These are a little bit harder to find at the store nowadays, it's kind of archaic, but they add a lot of nice texture. Smash just came out with their own because so many people were having a hard time finding the Dymo. Um, smash has colorful tapes. They're in all different colors, not just this color here. And they came out with the machine as well. So you'll be able to do it um, by looking for that machine made by Smash. Mine just happens to be made by Dymo. And so this is what I typed out with that. And then they'll be able to type out their own phrases that they want as well. So then I found in our family pack, which both of my girls have these notebook papers, I found the one top 10 family memories to make. The other page is the kind of parent I want to be and then the other one is I look most like, my personality is most like. So these were from the smash pads and I filled those out and each of the girls have their own in that as well. So these are just going to lay out on this page in various areas. Then I took just a very basic circle punch and I cut out circles from the paper or you can cut out really from any paper that matches and I ended up with some decorative circles to put on my page and those are just gonna go randomly 
in different areas like that. Then I also used from Tim Holtz the Tiny Tabs and Tags die. That is using a Big Shot machine. Now this may not be something you have in your stash, but it's something very simple that kids are able to use very easily. Again, my kids are ages 10 and 12, so they know how to use this machine without hurting themselves. It's the Big Shot, and this is the Tim Holtz die. So they're able to cut out tags and tabs and they end up looking like this shape. So this is one of the tags that I'll be sticking in there as well as it makes these little tabs here. So I'll probably be putting one up here somewhere and then one down here and then different things. So this is a hospital bracelet I had, and this is the nice thing about a smash book. It's where you just have random things laying around. Why I'm putting this on the I Am page is it does have my birth date on it, so and it happens to be the right color as well. So I'm going to stick that on there. And then I happened to find a flower that I just had laying around in our stash, and I'm going to stick that in the corner with a little circle as well and just stick it up here. So you just kind of work with things and see what feels good for your page and there's no right or wrong but hopefully this will give you inspiration and you join us in our challenge.